Hi, I'm Stuart Brentnell, Chief Investment Officer at ANZ Wealth. I'd like to update you with our outlook for investment markets in 2015, but first, a quick look back on 2014. It's been a year that's been dominated by disappointing growth, lower than expected inflation, and geopolitical concerns out of Russia and the Middle East. Asset market returns have been solid this year, supported by stimulus measures from the world's central banks, but share market returns have moderated from 2013's very strong gains. So what can we expect from 2015? In our view, global economic growth should rise back to more normal levels after being below average for the last three years. Key reasons we believe this should happen are low interest rates and the stimulatory effect they should have on major economies, less government spending cuts in developed economies, lower oil prices which should boost consumer spending power and business profitability, lower debt levels among US consumers and gradually more lending coming out of European banks. So going around the world, the US economy is still the locomotive that's likely to pull the rest of the world with it. In particular, rising business and housing investment should increase imports and boost growth in the US trading partners. After faltering in 2014, we believe Europe should benefit from central bank stimulus measures, a weaker euro and easier lending criteria from banks. Japan should also gain from a weaker currency as the Bank of Japan increases its efforts to end two decades of deflation. Chinese growth should be robust, but below the average of the previous decade, as China continues to shift its economic focus from exports and investment to domestic consumption. The Australian and New Zealand economies are still forecast to grow close to a trend pace, despite lower commodity prices. The transition of the Australian economy away from mining should continue slowly. Looking at asset classes, the current mixture of solid growth and low inflation make a positive environment for share markets. We prefer global shares that can benefit from this growth to a greater extent than Australian and New Zealand shares. Emerging markets are cheap, but the value is largely concentrated in China and Russia, both of which have challenges. In fixed income, we expect the US Federal Reserve to raise interest rates in 2015, although recent inflation trends suggest it might be later rather than sooner. This should see US bond yields rise gradually. Higher yields mean lower prices for bonds, so that will constrain the return from bonds in the new year. However, in the Eurozone and Japan, bond buying programmes are likely to keep bond yields close to their historically low levels. Looking at currencies, we expect a continued strengthening of the US dollar as investors seek out rising interest rates. Closer to home, the Australian and New Zealand dollars should continue to feel the impact of falling commodity prices and a cooling New Zealand economy. Overall, we expect 2015 to be a year of moderate share returns, positive but below average bond returns, and a stronger US dollar trend. While it's important to be aware of the potential for lower returns and higher volatility, we believe investors should stay exposed to growth assets with a focus on quality and on liquidity. All the best to everyone for 2015.